Happy Monday to you, Valpo Storm Shield meteorologist here in the Storm Shield Weather Center. We're tracking a winter storm that's going to bring us a very rainy day on Tuesday, but by the later portion of the week as that progresses out of our area, should be seeing some milder conditions. Here's your radar right now. This is filmed at around uh, 545. So you're going to be seeing this in just a, a little bit later than that. But here's the rain down south, and this is that system that I just mentioned. We're seeing lots of snow in portions of Colorado and Nebraska, dumping upwards of two feet locally in some regions in the Rockies. I know my sister, she actually just texted me. She was skiing in about a foot and a half deep of powder, so she was very excited about that. We're going to see this progress towards us tomorrow, so all this rain and these rain shower activity, that's all going to work towards the northeast come tomorrow. Here's just that, the future radar. So the blue here, that's snow. The blue and the white, that's snow. To the southeast, though, that's all rain. That's going to be riding along a cold front. So we progress this now Tuesday very early into Tuesday afternoon. That's where we're going to start to see those rain showers along the cold front start to impact us here in Valpo. So this is now Thursday, or not Thursday, Tuesday, around lunchtime. And as we advance that forward, all that rain just works, it way, works its way through northwest Indiana come tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. So here's the impacts of this storm. Snow in portions of Iowa and Nebraska could be even upwards of a foot to 18 inches in certain spots. This pink, that's some of the uncertainty where the mixed precipitation is going to fall. That's the really nasty stuff, the wintry mix the freezing rain, the sleet. That's what we are happy that we're not dealing with. And then if you look down to the south, quite impressive just to note the strength of the system because you actually do have an enhanced risk for severe storms for portions of the south. For us though, we're just going to be dealing with a rainy Groundhog's Day. Here's the specifics of your day tomorrow. We'll top off around 47 degrees by 4 o'clock and by the evening we're still going to be in the mid 40s by 8 o'clock. The rain chances throughout the day, 60 degree or 60 percent rather, uh, 10 a.m. to noon and then it jumps up to around 90 percent by the middle of your afternoon and that threat does taper off for our rain chances. Here's another thing to note though, the wind 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the east could gust up to 35 miles per hour in front of that front. So you're going to want to dress for rain and wind. So something that's a little bit uh, wind breaking but also water resistant. This is your seven day forecast. So Groundhog's Day again, very, very rainy. Wednesday, 36 degrees. So we're still very, very mild for this time of year. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're not dealing with any precip, that's the good news. And the other good news is we're gonna be sitting very comfortably, 31 degrees your afternoon high on Thursday, 38 degrees on Friday, 36 degrees on Saturday. So by the later portion of your weekend and by early next week, we could start to see a clipper system work its way through. That shower potential on Monday, still a little bit up in the air, but we could tweak that as the time comes. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like on Facebook if you haven't already at VUTV Weather.